Hello, 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 August the 30th, 2020. Hello everyone, it's been a while and uh, it's good to be back. I've been so busy uh, with the, the changes around the world, uh, keeping those that we have here visiting us well and happy and doing, uh, progressing uh, well. It's been uh, fun and it's had its challenges, but everything's going so well. Um, I've got a few little testimonials that uh, will be uploaded to the Facebook page uh, in the next uh, couple of days of um, some exciting news from some people have. So how is everyone? Uh, I got my comments uh, there. If you if you write, the good thing about uh, posting these videos to Facebook, uh, YouTube, is that you can you can write a comment. I always leave comments open. And it allows you and me to interact. And uh, uh, if you have any questions, happy to answer them publicly or, or quietly. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, it's Sunday afternoon. It's great to see, see you all. And uh, good to get some great news out. So I'm going to share with you some things today that are exciting. Let me tell you a little bit about my story. Uh, 20 years ago, my brother-in-law was diagnosed with cancer. Um, about six weeks after I read a book written by Philip Day, Cancer, the Winnable, not Cancer, the Winnable War. He wrote that book too. Uh, Cancer, Why I'm Dying to Know the Truth. And that book changed my life. It put me into a, uh, a direction that uh, it's been a challenging life, but a, such a rewarding life to give people quality of life, to extend life, to um, give people hope where they didn't have hope. To, uh, to help people get it right because, and I still don't get it, I see it daily, that some people believe uh, that they hear this amazing thing of vitamin B17, it's the cure-all, and his book certainly indicated that it was very, very promising results, but I can tell you, it's, uh, it's one of the reasons I'm in the industry, because I saw people that had uh, been sent home to die terminally ill to vitamin B17, which is very affordable. We have a home program. You can do it so easy at home if you're on a tight budget. Um, and they got results, but certainly a lot didn't. A lot did, a lot didn't. And to this day, I couldn't, I couldn't pinpoint the difference between why. You can have two of the same breast cancer, the same blood type, and I still to this day, 20 years on, researching the research, digging through, People have got theories, but there's no facts behind them because we're actually in the process of using these things daily. So, so I can see things that people who have written books had assumptions. They, they didn't see it or experience it or practice it. So uh, that makes you know that if you have a, a wife, a husband, daughter, son, uncle, auntie, grandmother, that's been diagnosed with something, do you want to try one thing? You have to work within your budget. If that's all you can do, do it. We'll help you. We'll hold your hand and show you the way. It's called the home program. It's on our website. If you want to give yourself a fighting chance and throw everything at it, uh, our team of doctors and, and our nurses and, and staff, we put in so much love and energy into helping you get it right, combining the top things. And I'm going to discuss some of them today give you some insights in, in, into it. But more excitingly, I'm going to share with you the new website. We, we have a, a we're, we're distinguishing between our spa and our health retreat. The health retreat, the buildings will be finished uh, later this year. And, uh, and so, so the, the people will be able to come to the health retreat. But in the meantime, the accommodation photos are there. Beautiful new apartments are available for people to use at the moment. And the good thing is, they're not quite all empty, but there's plenty of space at the moment. So um, we're open. We're in South America, and the doors open here. Um, you can travel here for as little. Uh, somebody came from, from Canada, um, $400, $500 return ticket. Like, amazing. <laughs> That's three flights, some short stopovers, um, 12 hours altogether. And um, I believe you can come from Florida, Texas, uh, for a really low price. Uh, I'm not in my normal destination. The window's open. You're going to hear uh, 
taxis and, and cars going past. I'm not apologizing. It's the, the place I am, and I'm doing, uh, bringing you an unedited me telling you the story of things that I think are really, really important and, and that you should know. I'm going to touch a little bit on autism today and uh, stroke, uh, but certainly go over the area that of my highest expertise is, is cancer because I've specialized in that for 20 years. Um, worked alongside some amazing doctors. Um, some are not with us anymore. I've had what I call friends of the program. Um, and uh, there's a lot of stories on the website that will tell you what's happened to some doctors. They've been closed down. I've got a friend in Australia at the moment who's being uh, attacked uh, by the by government. They really do not want alternative therapies to succeed. They don't want you to know about them. And so my website, thanks to the man upstairs sending me, a man downstairs, who's downstairs, I mean, <laughs> on earth, who's, uh, who, who, who I stumbled across, and he's a wealth of information. He thought he knew a lot, and then when we had a few dinners together, he had fireworks go off in his head. And he questioned things and he started to research and, and he got this flame inside him that fired him up so much that he rang me up. He said, I don't know whether you know it or not, but I started a new website for you. Everything you told me is amazing and I'm just so excited about it. I want to do this for you. So he's put together an amazing uh, website that's got, uh, he's, he's probably approaching 200 pages, but when I counted a few weeks ago, there was 101. So that's, that's exciting, and uh, so I'll take you through some of them, share the new website with you. And as of today, the old address will be diverted directly to this new one. Um, there's one thing I need you to do is, um, let me take you to, the, to here. In Facebook now, if you can see up the top, uh, the name of, of the page here is Atlantis Health Retreat, um, S.A., now, um, Atlanta Salute Spa, we simply, it's still the same business, but we changed the name to Atlantis Health Retreat SA. Um, uh, if you can see that right there at the top. Where is it? Yeah, there it is, underneath the image. Um, no, that's not the name. Where's the name? It's not showing up on the screen for some reason. But it's um, Atlantis Health Retreat SA. Now, there is another site which I started because I didn't know you could change the name, which is called Atlantis Health Retreat. So um, I just wanted to let you know that this Atlantis Health Retreat one will be closed down. If you've liked that or you're following that, please go to the main website, which is um, uh, this one. Let me see if I can get that to come up. There you go. See up the top corner there, Atlantis Health Retreat SA. Um, that's where you need to like and follow. That's where this video is being live streamed to. And it's also being live streamed to about uh, half a dozen other others that are friends of the program who, who are into alternative therapies, high pH therapy, vitamin B, um, and so on. So if you, can, if you can make that change so you don't miss out on any important information, that would be really good. Let me have a drink and wait for a couple of other people to tune in. Let me see if I can get picture in picture here. There we go. Which corner will I go in? Does it matter? Okie dokie. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is a new, new website. I absolutely love it. Um, uh, George has done an amazing job. And I unconditionally thank him very much for all the work he's done. The hours of work um, during the lockdown, the researching, the research, and finding information to make things very, very clear for you. He's interviewed me extensively and weekly, asking me a lot of questions with the goal of getting the message across to you. So it's, you know, what is my policy on food? Um, why do I work with cancer? Why do I help people with autism? 
what is this new thing with people with stroke and how does that work? Uh, what is a metabolic disease and, and so on? So um, all of those things is over here. So the lights behind it, there we go. You see me okay? Okie dokie. So um, this website explains all of those things. But, um, and for the first time ever, we've gone into a lot of detail. In fact, we've given uh, very clear references, um, medical references, uh, and people who are like a, a large percentage of the people who come here just say, show me what I got to do. Just give me the details. Other people say, where did this come from? How does it work? Why wasn't I told about it? And this video is about that. It's letting you know that we've, we've done a lot of work to put together the information. So those people who want to research or those family members that you've got who are questioning what you're considering doing, well, they can do some reading now. Everything's here for them. I, GCMAF we've been using for four to five years. I call it the missing link. It really bridged the gap between what we were doing and what I felt was missing. Um, you can kill the cancer, but you need to you need to get the underlying immune system working so well that it helps to clean up the and, and aid the recovery at a at a microscopic level. And certainly, uh, GCMEF microphage activating factor, uh, which comes from mother's milk. If you're breastfed, you had it. But what this website will explain is that when we when we have medication, when we have immunization, um, the the process of, of giving you immunization includes some some chemicals in there that actually turn off your microphage, stop them working, and they're the first line of defense in your blood. Uh, they, if you bruise yourself, you notice it goes yellow after a while. That's microphage in the area that are eating all of the dead cells, reabsorbing them into the system. Now, if there's any, if there's, if they get overwhelmed and there's any sign of infection, they call uh, the the killer T cells. They call in the white cells uh, to to help them, and they work together as a team. If you take one part of that jigsaw puzzle away, you're in trouble. So. So I find that very, very exciting. How it's made, all the questions that we commonly get are all detailed on that page. Um, the high pH therapy. So, so for those that don't know me or don't know how we work, we have, we, we try to combine a minimum of five therapies to give you the best outcome. Now, these are five that complement one another. There are other therapies that if we add in, we have to drop off something else because they they work, uh, the way they work is, is the opposite. Um, you know, you can put a fire out with water, you can put a fire out with smoke, but you wouldn't, wouldn't necessarily use both of them at the same time because they work very differently. Um, it's the same when you're fighting cancer. Uh, we combine five or more that we can safely combine that work together that give the best outcome. Uh, GCMAF, uh, high pH therapy, the top two therapies in the world. There are, there is nothing better that you can do. Um, uh, there are things that you can add in as well that complement it, um, but you'll never get a better combination, uh, one-two punch than, than the high pH therapy when it's combined with, with GCMAF. And the... Uh, that image describes it perfectly. It's really like a time bomb. Uh, when you raise the pH of the cells up extremely high, the whole area becomes very oxygenated and alkaline. And uh, the result is that, that the cancer can no longer ferment sugar anymore. The, the, the environment that it needs, the perfect environment, the acid environment that it needs has been taken away. And the result is that cancer dies very quickly. I've got some videos that I'll be posting this week on, on a bone cancer patient that in less than a week, uh, large knuckle-sized lumps on the spine completely dissolved, disappeared. We can feel the screws now. 
that are holding the spine together. So um, high pH therapy is a process that must be done intravenously, not orally. It must be done over three months. It can't be done quicker. You can get some shrinkage if you do it in less time, but it takes three months to eliminate a cancer. And every day of that, you can't, you can't do two and a half months. Three months, uh, you have a chance of, if you follow the protocol when you get home, you have a chance of staying cancer free. But if you don't, uh, it's a problem. So, But three months, most cancers uh, won't have a chance to come back. It does require something on your part. You need to be positive. You need to have faith. I, I can't believe that some people in, in, in today's society uh, miss, miss some... some and I guess, I guess when you have a headache, you take a pill, the pain goes away. You haven't fixed the problem. You break a leg, you, they inject you with some pain medicine. You haven't fixed the problem. The underlying problem is still there. So it, it's the same with cancer. It's a process you need to go through. Um, and you need to follow that. That if I, could, if I could do it in seven days or 14 days, I would. Um, Three months is a commitment to have a quality of life for the rest of your life. If you cut it, cut it short to two months, two and a half months, it's a problem. So that's why we have apartments where the family can come. Um, and, uh, you know, some people are not going to make it. So we make it. It's like a vacation. It's a beautiful environment overlooking the beach in the new location. Beautiful animals, uh, llamas. Uh, Animals on the farm, uh, green, smell of eucalyptus in the air. Um, you know, we're creating an environment that's a vacation. And while you're on the vacation, you're having some treatment. Three days a week are, are long days. Uh, the other four days a week are very short. And you can enjoy some, some meditation, some quiet time sitting on the beach, reflecting, fun, running, whatever you're capable of doing, depending on your condition. So that, that's the idea of the spa. It's not a medical environment. Uh, it's, it's not an environment that uh, I see. I've been to places where they're having IV and there's 10 people on that wall and 10 people on another wall, all looking at one another, having chemotherapy. Um, it needs to be an, a joy, joyful experience and, and you need to laugh. And you saw on the video, the laughter is not the only therapy, but gee, we laugh a lot in our place. Um, and, and the result in reduction of pain, if you've watched the Patch Adams video, um, uh, laughter's, laughter's the best medicine, and we have a lot of laughter in our clinic and, uh, and a positive, uh, enjoyable environment. So uh, cesium high pH therapy, a lot of people call it cesium therapy. So the IV is 20 minerals, okay, 20 minerals but you're having a combination of 90 minerals. So you also have oral minerals as well as what's in the IV. The IV includes gold, silver, copper, um, all good for, for uh, destroying viruses and parasites and cancer cells and in, including your, improving your thought, helping with positiveness, um, making you feel good. Uh, the combination reduces pain. In fact, somebody whose pain they arrived uh, not so long ago had pain of 100 out of 10. Uh, couldn't even hold a conversation with me. The pain was so high, and it was getting worse from the week before they arrived. And um, in a wheelchair, and, and three, not, not even three days after, but 24 hours, there was major pain reduction in three days. She's off nearly all, all pain medication, one little one at night time. Um, and that's amazing. And uh, also to see the shrinkage when you visually see a, a cancer sticking outside the body and you see it re reduce in size in days, uh, you, you just know you, you, <laughs> it's just so damn exciting. And, and uh, that's the sort of thing that happens with cesium therapy. When you're doing vitamin B17, however, it's a long haul. It may take 3, 6, 12 months to see a cancer go away. It doesn't go quickly. And so when you're evaluating what therapy to do, it's extremely important, extremely important when you're looking at the cost that you're looking at how long is it going to take? Because if you can spend 
less than six months fighting a cancer, what is the cost difference to that than if you're fighting it for two or three years? I've got people looking at coming here. They've been fighting for years. The amount of money that they've spent over those years, um, it would be far less than if they just came here in the beginning. And um, yeah, so so there's a page on Layer Trail, a lot of information. But what, what you'll also see is links, uh, links to the information here from cancer.gov. Um, the medical system, um, lots of links to really important information uh, for those people who uh, want to research my research and uh, find out how that works and why. Um, that's where you find that information. So here's some studies, a little video. Love the images, the Hunsas, still fathering children at 100. I know you don't want to father children at 100. I'm just saying that they have been fathering children at 100. Um, so some really, really important information uh, that I'd like you to dive into so that you understand when you come here what you're here for, what you're doing, how it works, and, and so on. Our best results are with metastasized cancers. Uh, and that's primarily because most people don't come here when they first diagnosed and and I used to actually promote that I used to say you know do the traditional system but I've changed now the results are so good that I would prefer you to spend instead of spending a year on different chemotherapies 18 months for lymphoma um, and bone cancer they just cannot get a result with bone cancer you spend three months here if it didn't work you have that as an option but if it did work, you're back at work and you're not, you're not focusing on it anymore. And I think that's really important for everyone to understand that, that when, when, when you see the doctor, when he gives you the news, and you know, I was in those shoes just a little while ago with my beloved wife. Um, and it's, it's one of the criteria for cancer. These people are all special, nice people, you know. I, I don't see any bad people with cancer. They're all, they all seem to be... And it's probably because they have a heart of gold and they worry about other people so much. Uh, there's probably an underlying, an underlying thing with people with cancer, but they're all really, really nice people. And my wife, unfortunately, was uh, diagnosed with, with colon cancer. And it was a difficult time for us. We just opened. And um, our resources were very low. So she done the home program for two months. And then we done the, the IV protocol for a couple of months. And, and the man upstairs blessed us that she was uh, found to be cancer-free. Uh, and a year later had some issues and, and went for a full, full internal check and confirmed that everything was gone. And uh, amen to that. So, uh, And I said to her, after doing everything we're doing, if, if there's still a complication there, we, we, better, we better investigate further. And... Um, Good news is uh, everything was gone, uh, and uh, I, 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 I never forget the word she said to me that, uh, you know, we were scared and we had a tear, and uh, when she said to me it couldn't have happened to me at a better time, at a better place, with a better person, with the right person to help me, and uh, heavy load, uh, and so, you know. I have a friend in Australia, Helen, and, uh, you know, we were going through some hard times and she said, well, it's about time you've done your own program. And I did, and I, I recovered from my, my knee challenges and, and, you know, her words came in, you know, snap out of it. You know, this, this is, this is not what we've been programmed. This is not what, this is not, it doesn't have to be a death sentence. If you do the traditional thing that everybody does, you get the traditional results. The only way you escape that, and metastasize cancer 0.03%, the only way you escape that is to step outside of the system and find something that will work for you, that you have faith in, that you believe in, and that you can follow and that you can understand. And I really believe and hope that the new website lays it out in so much detail that you get it. Because when you come here, you need to know what you're here for. You need to put in with all your heart. When I give you something nutritional and I say, you know, drink this, it's going to help you. Go inside me and, 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 and
and eliminate the enemy. You need to be thinking it, praying it, believing it. You need you need every cell in your body to be, know that you have just sent in something powerful and you need it to focus on getting rid of the enemy so that you can get back to the joy of your grandchildren and and uh, your your partners and, and your future life if you haven't had children yet you need every cell in your body to be positive to, to to go go through cancer and that's what cancer is cancer is a, a disease that transforms you that if you don't have faith, you will have depression. That if you don't have love, you will have growth in the cancer. That if you combine love, faith, determination, and find yourself a winning team that doesn't put all their eggs in one basket, you have the best chance of getting a positive outcome. So metastasized cancers, uh, uh, if they've removed the primary and you find out you've got some growing on the spine or in the lymphatic system, neck, brain, beautiful. It's a healing crisis that needs some help. So these pages will, will explain and, and everything's referenced. You can click on these links and they'll take you to a page that gives you the details of those. So, um, everything and detail, this researching the research and this website certainly does that um, breast cancer too is um, there's a lot of lot of people having the you know going down the path of removing their breasts and that's a personal choice one thing that we've always done is not told people what to do but there are some things you can do for prevention and if you have breast cancer especially if it's if it's prime primary don't be scared of it. Some of you ladies uh, that I spoke to up over the last three months, you've been sitting back for two years hoping that doing a certain juice will get rid of it. You've got to fight it as soon as you find it. You've got to, you've got to get on top of it and attack it and help the healing crisis complete, and then you don't have a problem. But if you ignore it or you put all your faith in just a juice, a gimmick, you're making a mistake. And, you know, you may get, you know, one in a hundred that'll heal with the mind. And that's good. If you believe that that's for you, do it. If you believe that a particular juice will cure you, I don't want to take that away from you. But I'm saying to you, don't put all your eggs in one basket and combine everything that you can poss possibly combine so that you can get back to normal life and not be fearing this thing. The good thing about our targeted, not targeted therapies, and that is the high pH therapy will target a cancer, but it'll target it right through your whole body, from your head to your toe, with the quicker results happening at rib cage and above. Uh, but certainly we'll get shrinkage in, in the, the formula that we're now using is, is, is getting uh, the fastest results we've ever, ever seen, more than, more than 1% to 2% per day shrinkage. And I've documented that. We've scanned people daily with ultrasound and we've seen the shrinkage one to two percent a day. So so when you do more than fifty days, that's over a hundred percent. And we go for ninety days. Um, and uh, that's why we you know, because we know what how quickly it's gonna shrink. We know we need ninety days to get a result. And our guarantee if you, the cancer has shrunk, you know, it's definitely going, but it hasn't gone. You can stay for a small fee uh, to keep to keep going till it's gone. I mean, we're the only company on the planet that gives, gives an unconditional guarantee that if this thing's on its way out, you can stay longer for a, for a very small fee until we get rid of it. And that's the smart thing to do, to have a scan when you arrive, have a scan before you go. And if there's a little bit left, stay another few weeks and... Uh, Stay a month. Let's get rid of this thing so that you can get back to normal life. And some people don't want to go home. Some people enjoy their stay so much. In fact, a client, a client this week, has been saying it hasn't been sunny since the since the the hurricanes in the U.S. We've had a lot of overcast where we are, um, but the weather's warm. It's always nice and warm um, on on where we are. But on on the where the apartment is, the backside has a has a cool breeze that she notices sometimes. So she's a tiny tot, so she notices it. 
but by the time the, the last month she's here it'll be all sunny so you can see on these links here so we've got your lodging there uh, all the different services uh, that we offer so the GCMAF, high pH, Laetro, colon hydrotherapy, hyperbaric oxygen, ozone therapy, IV therapies, P PEMF, magnetic pulse therapy, and so on. Um, lots of information on autism. Um, we've had a breakthrough like there's a team that have put together some information on autism that if you've got a child with autism, you really, really, really should, should contact us because... Uh, We've got a two-week, week off, two-week program, so it's five weeks, and uh, we're pretty confident that the results with with uh, more than 90% of people, and and what we're doing is different than what you find anywhere else, so there's all amazing results with, with um, DCMF and, and cancers and autism here, stories, live testimonials documented by doctors, and lots of different types of cancer. You'll never get more information than what we've got on this page, and they're all from the. These are all these are all like studied um, in government websites. Okay, so the, the the system knows about they know about these therapies, and uh, I've been visually seeing amazing results for so long, and uh, we've got an unbelievable amount of. Um, documented results and uh, but you know the, the system doesn't allow you to share information openly and honestly uh, many many venues that we use to get information out to you actually take us out of the search engines make it hard for you to find us um, so these videos is, is the only way if you can please like ring the bell and share this video with your friends and help us get the information out um, because there's not a classroom out there on the planet that doesn't have a child with autism. And this five-week program, we're, we're really positive um, that each of the individual therapies that we use have shown results and will be the only clinic in the world that combines them all. Um, so, um, looking forward to helping a lot of you with, with autism. Now, there are some people in England that I spoke to a few years ago um, that had children. In fact, one lady had two children in her family that were autistic. And uh, I said that they were, were too old, uh, that they were in their, approaching their 30s. Um, I, I was wrong. Uh, I was completely wrong. I had never worked with elderly people with autism, but I can now say to you unquestionably that uh, it is definitely worth uh, looking at uh, the program and the results are outstanding with with 90% of people 10% complete recovery and 90 90% of people getting a major improvement um, and the same with with uh, stroke uh, we're getting the same results with that so um, get on the, get on the phone give us a call and let's talk about uh, your case uh, and what we can do, what we can do to help you see the see what the problem is, understand it, and instead of treating the symptoms, instead of treating the symptoms, which the medical system does, instead of trying to get your child to behave, to to interact, to be tolerable. Let's treat the problem. Let's treat the poisoning that caused the problem. Let's fix the problem. Let your children no longer live in fear and let us help them come out of the cloud because at the moment it's foggy. They can't see. They can't understand. And if we, if we take away that inflammation in the brain, if we, if we fix the underlying cause, then we've got a chance for that, for that beautiful person inside to come out and be free. And uh, we've got a, quite a few life-changing life stories here. 40-year-old woman regains control of her life. 
three weeks on GCMAF and, and uh, Jaden's uh, riding a bike. After six weeks, complete aggression disappeared. Freed his son from the internal poison. So, so we have real life stories here. So, what what is the process of that? It's again, it's um, it's uh, depends on your budget. The more aggressive one is is uh, two weeks, week off, two weeks. So it's five days, weekend free, five days, complete week off, five days, week off, five days, and that that weekend you fly home, and you have follow up of three months of products to continue um, on an ongoing basis. But while you're here, I would predict that you will see changes, um, see improvements. See, and and, and the, the great thing about this is this, there's no risk. There's no risk of harm. There's no issue of harm like drugs. There's a percentage that will have a side effect that's bad. We don't have that. Um, and there's a big healthy possibility that you will see, feel, and know that there's been some amazing changes. It does involve some diet changes. It does in involve uh, hyperbaric oxygen. It does involve GCMAF. It does involve a combination of, of, of therapies, a few maybe IV, depending on the case, um, and, uh, and, the, and the child. And... Uh, and that's it. Sit back, hold on, and watch. And uh, from 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 deep inside, I can tell you, this combination is like no other. And uh, you know, you're a few months away from having your child back. And uh, I'm I'm really really optimistic. And and and, uh, and and I'm talking optimistic because these have all been done one at a time, but. This, time, this close down time gave us time to research the research and put together something really, really different um, in that it's never been, the links have never been put together the way we've put them together. And uh, we're just excited to share that with you. And um, uh, those that give us permission, we ask people when they arrive if they will allow us to do, do video and, and uh, share their story. So... Um, we look forward to, to sharing stories about GCMAF with you. Oh, there's also uh, from government sites the details of what's, what's, you know, a lot of people say, why are you against vaccines? Because I don't believe God made our body wrong. I believe our, God, our body's perfect and we've done a few things that are not good for us. Um, so here's a list of all of the injections that are, that are given to children and adults, and what what's in the what's in the ingredients. And so read this and tell me if you want to inject these pro products into your child. Do some research. And uh, I was lucky; I had a mother that was against vaccination, and and uh, rightly so. <laughs> And the current the, the current uh, pandemic, they're talking about uh, a vaccination being out soon. But you know, there's a flu vaccination that doesn't stop 500,000 deaths a year or more around the world. So just wake up. Uh, really, I don't think you need that. I don't think you need to fear anything. You need to do you need to do what is common sense. Healthy people don't get these things or have problems if they do. Get healthy. Focus on your wellness. Change your life. Change your diet. Exercise, walk, eat properly. Uh, you know, my program is mainly vegetarian, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Tuesday, fish. Thursday, poultry. The weekend, a little bit of whatever you enjoy. Uh, and, and always make a choice. So if there's a choice, I mean, if you go to somebody's house and they're, they're having fish and chips, hamburgers, enjoy. But if you have a choice of food, choose things that are easy to digest, that are healthy for you. That haven't been, haven't been uh, processed. That are that are that are, I call living food, food that grew grew on a tree, uh, food that you know that was was harvested close by that hasn't been preserved, hasn't been put in tins and cans, 
But if you're in a in a situation where you've got no other food than that, you have to you have to survive. You, you have to. Every day you have a choice when, when when you're choosing what to eat for lunch, what to eat for breakfast. Will I will I fast for lunchtime every day? Will, will I say okay, seven o'clock at night I won't eat until midday the next day? It's a healthy thing to do for some people. It may not be healthy for somebody else. Um, and I w try eating one meal a day. Some people do really well on it. Does, 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 does one diet fit everyone? No. If it did, we wouldn't have obesity. 90% of people who go on diets end up bigger the year later. You don't need a diet. You need a mindset shift about what is right and what is wrong. Your body's a temple, and you need to choose wisely what you put in it, and what you put in it will reward you. Now, if, if you want to eat cheesecake every day of your life, if you love cheesecake, do you think that that will be good for you? Now, you might say I'm being silly, but every time you eat is a choice. And uh, the same with children with autism. You have to choose what you put in their mouth. You have, to, you have to make only good things available. You have to re remove certain things from the diet completely. And that's going to be difficult. But you have to choose. Do you want to clear that cloud? Because at the moment, the children are in a cloud. Some of them are way smarter than us. They've got so much going on, calculating so many things, counting how many steps people take. It's hard, and it's extremely hard for the mothers and fathers out there who are confused, being told all different information. I'm not an expert on the traditional, the traditional way that they're treating your son or your daughter, but I know it doesn't make sense. To treat the symptoms never works. It's the way the medical system is, is, has evolved. If I give you this medicine to take away your pain, then then you feel better, you'll come back for more of that medicine. You're not sleeping well, I'll give you this medicine to sleep well. Uh, you're not thinking clear, I've got a medicine for that. You've got pain in the liver, I've got medicine for that. But you can do a nutritional program to, to detox your liver, you can, you can detox your whole body, you can start to move, you can start to exercise, you choose when to exercise and when to eat to get better results than if you've done it the other way around. Find a nutritional expert that's close by that can help you with that. If you've got autism, we'll guide you. We'll, we'll give you a regime. We'll write up instructions. You can do it at home or you can do it here. The results here are three times better. But we do give you an option. You can start the home program. And if you see a little bit of results and you'd like to intensify those results, hop on a plane and come here for five weeks. The same with cancer, we give you a complete credit that if in six weeks of starting the home program, you want to come here, we credit the total cost of that to your trip here. So you've got nothing to lose and everything to gain. And uh, that's what I'd highly recommend. So there you go. That's the important information I wanted to share with you today. Um, I got a few videos I might share with you now. Would you like to watch a video? Turn on that. Wrong button. I'm terrible at clicking buttons. Cancel that. I think I think you will see this. I don't know. Here we go. Hello, Mimi. How are you today? So, so we have George here. George is just going to ask you a few questions. He's just doing a survey um, of people who come here and uh, have different therapies. So you arrived here before with a lot of pain. Um, what what level was the pain? Ten. Ten. Tell us about that. How, how long have you had that? And I had pain for about five weeks. Oh, that video's playing up. That's not good. I'll stop that.
happened to that video. It went into slow motion. And that's the same video. What I'll do is I'll post these videos onto the website so that you can have a look at them because um, I've got so many here. I've got, got some of, of uh, here's a picture I could share with you of, of um, let's see if this works. Okay, so this is a video, uh, day 10, uh, day two of the, the high pH therapy. And we just want to note there's a little lump here. This was really b bigger than this. Like this one, two, three, four, five, six was all huge. Now there's two little ones. The video actually looks big, but mm -hmm. that is actually little, very little and very little. So they were all bigger than this one. So now, now there's, I mean, there's still something going on there, yeah. but what I'm trying to say is you can see here, here, the two little ones here. These were all like a, like a, like a knuckle sticking out. Uh, th two or three times bigger than this from the bat from the top of the spine down mm -hmm. and the color look really good mm -hmm. So you can see from the side how they're sticking out So there was this is a third of the size and there was a lot of them So I'm really happy to see that so so quickly. So we'll do another video in a week to compare to this If, if I see the moon I'll be done <laughs> <laughs> We're, 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 we're in a session of laughter therapy here with everyone. So, so, so this is you just finished your your high pH therapy. How are you feeling? You're seeing stars, yes? Yeah, yeah, I did see stars. But you're feeling good. And what did you say? Your spine changed a little bit. What what happened to your spine? Yeah, now I don't see the bottom. It was like this. Like, yeah, I know, school, so yeah. I don't feel it. They've gone down. And what about movement? Any change in the movement? Yeah, it's more light than the spine. This morning you said you you were carrying someone on the back before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one. Whoever is <laughs> your husband. <laughs> oh, I do. I'm not going to show this to, to Joe. He'll be, <laughs> your husband's not on your back anymore. But the good thing is you you said you can swing your your hip a little bit and, and move a little bit better. Forget the shoulder, yeah. The shoulder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Hey, I don't know what's in that IV, but everybody want what you're having. <laughs> Beautiful, doing well. We've got a lot going today. Busy, 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 busy. We have to hook you up. We need to give you some IV. I want to see some stuff. Okay, so this is a video. Uh, day 10, uh, day 2 of the, the high pH therapy and we just want to note there's a little lump here, this was really b bigger than this, like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 was all huge, now there's two little ones, the video actually looks big but mm -hmm. that is actually little, very little and very little, so they were all bigger than this one, so now, now there's, I mean there's still something going on there, yeah. but what I'm trying to say is you can see here, here, and two little ones here. These were all like a like a like a knuckle sticking out, uh, two or three times bigger than this from the bat from the top of the spine down, mm -hmm. and the color looked really good. Mm -hmm. So you can see from the side how they're sticking out. So there was this is a third of the size, and there was a lot of them. So. I'm really happy to see that so so quickly. So we'll do another video in a week to compare to this one. So that's that's exciting, and uh, so I'll take you through some of them, share the new website with you, and as of today, the old address will be diverted directly to this new one. Um, there's one thing I need you to do is um, let me take you to the to here in Facebook now. If you can see up the top. The name of, of the page here is Atlantis Health Retreat, um, SA. Now, um, Atlantis Salute Spa, we simply, it's still the same business, but we changed the name to Atlantis Health Retreat, SA. Um, uh, if you can see that right there at the top.
So that's that's exciting, and uh, so I'll take you through some of them, share the new website with you, and as of today, the old address will be diverted directly to this new one. Um, there's one thing I need you to do is um, let me take you to the to here in Facebook now. If you can see up the top, uh, the name of of the page here is Atlantis Health Retreat um, SA. Now, um, Atlantis Salute Spa, we simply, it's still the same business, but we changed the name to Atlantis Health Retreat SA. Um, uh, if you can see that, you're right there at the top. So that's, that's exciting, and uh, so I'll take you through some of them, share the new website with you, and as of today, the old address will be diverted directly to this new one. Um, there's one thing I need you to do is, um, let me take you to the, to here, in Facebook now, if you can see up the top, uh, the name of, of the page here is Atlantis Health Retreat, um, SA. Now, um, Atlantis Salute Spa, we simply, it's still the same business, but we changed the name to Atlantis Health Retreat SA. Um, uh, if you can see that, you're right there at the top. 